Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at queues. Now, queues, like an array list, is a collection. Now, there are a bunch of different collections in uh, Visual Basic, uh, such as uh, hash tables, their stacks, uh, list dictionaries, order dictionaries, uh, string collections, uh, bit array collections. Um, We'll go into some of those, but not all of those in these tutorials. So let's go ahead and take a look at a queue. So we'll go ahead and click New Project. And we'll just name this project Collections, because I'm going to be looking at uh, teaching you guys uh, several different collections using this same project. So we'll go ahead and click OK. So we'll wait for that to load. And now what we're going to do is we're going to view the code for this. And we will zoom in some here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create a queue collection. So we'll type private and we'll just call it queue and then we'll type as keyword. Then we will use the new keyword and then we'll type queue. So what we did is we created a private queue which can only be accessed in form one and we used as new queue which means that it is an object of queue and if we can create as many queues as you as we want and they're going to be independent of, the, of each other so what queues do is it's a way of storing um, objects because when you add an item to your queue it takes the um, argument object and it uses what's called FIFO or first in first out such as a line at a ticket booth the people start lining up and the first person who got there is going to be the first person to get their ticket and then get out of there. So let's go ahead and uh, add some stuff to our queue. So we'll type Q dot and to add something to our queue we just type in queue or we can't do that outside of a sub so we'll go ahead and double click on form one. So when form one loads we will type Q dot in queue. Now, if you read the description, it says adds an object to the end of the system.collections.queue. So it adds it to the end of our line. We'll just call it a line because lines are first in, first out. So since the end of the line, there is no, uh, there is nobody or no object in front of this uh, item. This will be the first one inside of our queue. So queue.mq, and let's just see the first one in our uh, in our queue. So we can add as many as we want. So we'll add two, we'll add three, and we'll just add four. Okay, so now that we've added some stuff to our queue, it's gonna be first in, first out. So if we take something out of our queue, it's gonna take out one, and then it'll take out two. So the way we take stuff out is by typing Q dot DQ and it says removes and returns the object at the beginning of the system dot collections dot Q. So it's going to remove this object right here or whatever object we um, tell it to. And we're just going to leave this um, with nothing inside the parameters. So Q dot DQ is going to return the first object, which is one. So now if we type message box q dot dq and then we'll just go ahead and convert that to a string and if we go ahead and run this you can see that we should get the value 2 because we started off by declaring our q we added the value 1 to it then 2 then 3 then 4 then we dequeued and since it's first in first out it dequeues 1 and then if we DQ the next one, it's going to be 2. It returns the value 2 to us, and then we just converted that to a string. Now, if you don't want to take the item out of your queue, and you just want to look at it and without removing it, you can use queue.peak. So let's go ahead and run this, and you can see that it gives us 2. So it peaked at the value at the uh, next item in our list which is 2. Now if we type message box 
and then Q dot DQ it's going to give us two as well because when we typed peak it did not remove it from our queue it just looked at it so let's go ahead and run this we get two and then we DQ two so queues are um, they can be useful you may not find any practical application for them when you're first starting off but you may later on and it's useful to know them so um, practice with some queues um, remember that they are FIFO uh, F I F O for first in first out and I uh, want you to know how to make cues and how to use them go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching